number 39. Do you? It has to. It has to because I realized that without it, there was no success. I realized for me to find myself, I had to live my life. No, I'm not a monk. I'm not a monk, but I live my discipline. My self-discipline of my life is very monk-like. I stretch out every day for at least two hours. I don't drink. I don't go out. My regimen is I wake up, have oatmeal, run, come back, hit the weights. Um, I'm a big sports guy. I don't leave the house if at all but to do stuff like this. And I stress out at nighttime. I find people that I trust, which is a very small group of people, people who are honest and true to me, people who will die for me, and I'll die for them, which is a fucking small. And everybody else, man, you know, do you. And I stay to myself. And I let you do you. I don't judge people. I don't criticize you. You want to be a douchebag and be an ass and not love this country? Do whatever you want to do? I don't care, man. And I am all about you doing you because I'm going to fucking do me. And I'm going to do me until I'm fucking dead. You got to live a little bit. Live. And then have something to say or shut the fuck up, you know? Because I'm trying to leave this earth. So imagine this. Visualize this. I'm ring that fucker out, right? Nice and tight so it doesn't drip on the floor. That rag that you just fucking were ringing out, I want that to be my soul, my mind. I want there to be nothing left of David Goggins when I'm done. And I believe, as I talk about, in something much bigger than David Goggins. A lot of people don't, I do. And I think that when you die, this is my own mindset, that you arrive in line. It helps me to get past a lot of things. You, you arrive in line. And let's say you're in front. Let's say you die right before me. And you're in line. And God's sitting there with a the clipboard. Okay? Sitting there with a the clipboard, like me and you're sitting right now. He's looking at you, and he says, hey, you made it to heaven. Good job. Okay? And then he shows you the clipboard of what your life should have been. So you live this life that you thought you pushed so hard. Then you look at the clipboard. Let's say myself. This is now me. I'm talking about myself now. And let's say I got to heaven weighing 300 pounds. I was a, a guy that worked for Ecolab, which is a guy that kills cockroaches for a living, which is fine. It's a job. But then I look at this, and that's how I died. I look at this, and it says on here what I should have been. Because God's all-knowing, right? I look at this, and... It said you should have been 185 pounds. You should have broke against the world's record. You should have been a Navy SEAL. You should have been this. You should have been that. You should have lived this great life. You should have been an inspiration. You should have inspired millions. And then you give the clipboard back to God. Let's say you lived 80 years on earth. And now you realize that you lived here being a shell of who the fuck you should have been. So now you're in heaven. But are you really in heaven? Because now you see how much you fucking left down there on earth. So now your mind, your fucking mind now knows. Because I was afraid to suffer. Because I was afraid to go there. I could easily right now, you could never know who the fuck David Goggins is right now. You could never know me. I could be back in Brazil, Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, spraying for cockroaches at the fucking local restaurant. You should never fucking know me if I chose the route most of us choose. There'd be no fucking story. It'd be a normal story. I had a decision to make at 24 years old. You know, it's truth. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video.